Hello and welcome to this video on full fibre in Sheringham. As you can see already, this process has been a long and complicated one. UP originally planned to build a full fibre network in this area for their own retail use. However, due to an issue with an investor, they were sold by order to Virgin Media O2. The network build started in Sheringham around the end of November and was completed by the end of May. The network does not sadly serve the whole town, with some gaps. The most notable is the Woodland Rise area. I guess this is due to capacity within the existing ducting. These areas may well become available later. The map shows both Sheringham and Cromer, showing a wide area of coverage already mapped for full fibre. Now we move on to the day the contractors connected up my road to the network. Two contractors arrived from FNS who connected the road via an overhead solution due to the existing copper cable being buried directly in the ground. They fitted new connectorized block terminal units on each telephone pole allowing for new fibre drop wires to be fitted for customers should they choose to sign up for the Virgin Media service. In late June 2024, Virgin Media made the UP network live for customers to order. The same day it went live, a sales representative knocked on the door. The sales rep offered us the same deals as I had seen online. He did try and add some discount. We signed up for the M350 full fibre broadband only plan with symmetrical speed boost. This ensured we got the same speed uploading compared to the normal plans which only offer 10% of the download speed for upload. On the 8th of July 2024, Virgin Media arrived to install the drop wire to connect my property to the network. They installed a white connection box on the outside of the property. You can see here the existing open reach drop wire and the newer fiber drop wire. Virgin Media asked us where we wanted the new drop wire and could present it exactly where we required it, into the office. Initially, our install was booked for the 10th of July 2024. However, this was delayed due to a wiring issue affecting the whole town. Engineers arrived again from FNS to check the network in my road the day after we were informed the install had been cancelled. A French engineer came to check my property's line to ensure it was correctly wired now and confirmed it was, and after a text conversation with that engineer, they got me booked in for the 12th of July. They installed a white isolator box in the office to allow a short fibre patch lead to plug into the new Virgin Media Hub 5X. I am now going to run through some speed tests. I will let the results speak for themselves.
While the final speed test complete, I'll answer an important question. Would I recommend Virgin Media Full Fibre? I absolutely would. We were kept informed by the approachable engineers regarding the delay, and the service has only dropped out three times since installation. This is significantly more reliable than the old fibre to the cabinet connection we had previously. If you have made it this far, some of you may be wondering, how do I keep my landline on a full fibre connection? Virgin Media do not provide a landline service on their fibre network. However, a company called Vonage provide a calling package via an analog telephone adapter. For this to be successful, you need to keep your existing broadband active to ensure the old landline is not cut off. Vonage will arrange for your existing landline to transfer to them, which will automatically cut off the old broadband connection. The adapter requires power and a wired Ethernet connection to the Hub 5X. All the cables you need are included with the adapter. The analog telephone adapter arrived within three days of ordering and they completed the number migration from the old phone line to the new adapter within seven days. This now means the master socket in the hall no longer has anything plugged into it. One problem with having a landline via the internet is it will not work in a power cut or internet outage. A solution for a power cut is to install an uninterruptible power supply, which is like a chunky extension lead with some batteries built in, to power your Hub 5X. Analog telephone adapter and telephone, obviously if the telephone requires power. If you have made it this far, I hope this has been informative regarding the full fibre internet being rolled out in Sheringham. Please see below for a £50 rebate link for Virgin Media. I get fifty. Just to be clear, I get £50 as well for everyone who uses this link. And also, see below for information regarding Vonage and keeping your landline. I'd like to say again, thank you very much for watching.